Hi, hello, how are we? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a market video. However, I literally only recorded like four minutes of footage. So future Ali is going to be commenting and switching back. Hi, switching back from this weekend. And today ten telling y'all a little bit about what happened, why I didn't get so much footage. So here is me opening up the video. I hope y'all enjoy it. To start off, we got Saturday. It opened at 10, I mean at 9. We didn't finish setting up and I wasn't even able to open up the vlog until like 10.40. I was so frustrated, so like I felt, I couldn't sit down. The market was so freaking busy. It was also so hot and then windy. The 92, 94 degree weather in Texas is unbearable. I hate the heat so much. I need to invest in a better AC for my canopy. So if y'all have a good AC recommendation, please let me know down below. But I did open up the vlog, so let's see my entry and also my setup. Hi, hello, how are we? Welcome back to my channel. Guys, it is market weekend, so I have a market today from 9 to 6 and then tomorrow Sunday from 12 to 5. It's already currently 10.48 and the market opened at 9 and I'm barely opening up the video. It has been chaotic. Um, I set up my booth and then it took me forever to put the keychains on the keychain stand and then people just kept coming. It's windy, it's crazy. But I hope y'all enjoy this video. I will let y'all know best sellers. Um, what people gravitated towards and my overall experience i hope y'all enjoy i will flip y'all around so that y'all can see my setup and i hope y'all like it can we give me a round of applause for that setup because Honestly, I feel like that setup was a really good setup. You could see everything. Everything was bright. It was all in line. I feel like it looked good. Um, I will say that the squids did not sell. I feel like they sold at my last market because they were hanging up and you could see like the tentacles falling. Um, so that is one thing that I did notice that it was different about this market. Sorry for my son. He is screaming in the back. But i really enjoyed the setup it was easy to talk to people and then i also had space in the back for overstock and then just to sit down and relax <laughs> so i love this freaking keychain contraption the only bad thing about it is that you cannot collect it's not collapsible so once you set it up it is set up for life i do have that one linked down in my amazon storefront if y'all want to check it out but i really do like it and i feel like keychains are a really fun way to add some cheaper stuff to your setup i also have some of the keychain stuff that i do use down below i sell each keychain for like five dollars and i buy them for roughly like 83 cents to a dollar so i am making a pretty good profit off of those so if you are wanting to have some lower price items in y'all's in y'all's markets i would definitely recommend keychains also stickers It is currently 12.13. It has gone crazy. We're almost to a page full. Almost. We are so close. Uh, most popular items are keychains and bluey. My blue healer pattern. Link in bio. Link down in the description box. It's on my Etsy. Shameless plug. But that has been our bestseller. I think I brought 12. Um no large items have sold the most expensive item that has sold has been 20 dollars, i believe 
but someone's here. It is 12.32, George got me lemonade and some curly fries. How, how am I supposed to eat all of this? Come now. And then we made it to the back of the first page, guys. This is insane. I don't think I've ever done like so well at this market so early, but I am so freaking grateful. Um, we have four blueies left, so I think I've sold eight. I think I had 12. Um, axolotls are really popular. Um, the Yoda balls are really popular. A lot of people will keep asking for axolotls and then they see the axolotls I have and don't want them. People are here. We'll be back. We did, in fact, eat all of the curly fries those are the best especially like at carnivals i think they're so good okay so i did bring 12 sweet snuggles light blueies and then i brought two parfait xl muffins they sold out so i literally have one two three four and a half five and a half four and a half pages of sales so i would say that this market was a huge success blueies were definitely my top sellers and so were axolotls so the bluey pattern is for me it is linked in my etsy the axolotl pattern that i did use was luna crochet crafts um another good pattern or a good seller was mabel the chicken from willow and oak such an easy pattern and then the cat oh my cats sold out and that pattern is from one two three not it it is her mama cat all right it's currently 308 i'm going to turn it around so y'all can see everything and how my booth is looking like i have not sold a group which is really weird but i sold all the blueies all my axolotls except the jumbo color me monday one but let's flip you around so y'all can see what my stuff is looking like now after showing you what my setup looked at looks like at 308 i didn't record again it was hot i was miserable also there was so many people it was crazy and then also having to take care of my son it was a mess but after i did that i did do a last updated video of what my booth looked like before i closed down you could see stuff that i sold between three and six it wasn't as much stuff it did kind of slow down but it was just so hot once i'm hot i'm like in a bad mood i don't want to mess with anybody talk to anybody it's frustrating um so i did record a before during and after of my setup but here is the after before i closed everything down and closed it for <laughs> what here is my setup before i left and wiped everything clean for the next day This is water, but welcome to day two of the market. It is currently 11.59, the market starts at 12, so we did perfect today, and we got here late. But let me flip y'all around and show y'all what it looks like. It is looking so empty, but we didn't bring the pink shelves today, mostly because we didn't want to put them up because they take so much time. Um, I'm going to invest in more of these white shelves just because they are so much easier to put up, and it's just easier overall compared to the ones that you have to twist but let me flip y'all around so y'all can see my setup i know what you're thinking this setup for day two looks a lot more emptier than it did the day before I think that is a good thing, also a bad thing because people don't have as many options as they did the first day, but it's a good thing because that means I sold a lot of stuff. I didn't put the pink shelves back up and I think having the black shelves on the grid walls helped space it out a little bit and make it look a little bit fuller. I know that I have so many large items, I really love crocheting with big jumbo yarn and I priced those really high mostly because I do not want to sell them and they are focal points and that's what brings people into my uh little setup so i don't i don't really mind that they don't sell it is a focal point a talking point 
gets people into my booth so that's why i have so many large items and you will see at the end of the video that i didn't sell any of them but other than that i really like today's setup as well i feel like it was empty but that's what i was working with <laughs> So I did do the keychains a little bit different this time. I used more of like the rubber ones. I have those linked in my Amazon storefront as well. I didn't put the shark or axolotl plushies out just because I couldn't find the pairs and like color matching them to the to the keychain stand. So I put up the other ones. However, I feel like these keychains did a million times better. All day on Sunday, I probably sold quite a bit of keychains that's where i got the majority of my sales from keep in mind on saturday i made two thousand one hundred and two dollars and sunday it was a shorter day but i only made four hundred and forty two dollars and more than half of those sales were keychain sales yes I, in fact, did not record anything on Sunday. I am so sorry. The only thing I recorded was the beginning of the market and the end of the market. So you did see what I did sell. Um, I did sell a couple of Groots, Weebies, uh, keychains. One person bought five keychains. Can you believe that? Keychains are a must if you are trying to add cheaper things. Um... Overall, I will say that this market was a success and I am so grateful I was able to attend this market and I will definitely be back in October for that market. The total amount, I wish I would have calculated before how many items I did sell, but it's five, four and a half pages, but my grand total was $2,544. I'm so grateful I am able to pay off some of my debt. Uh, your girl has debt so i am putting all that money towards taxes and debt <laughs> but i hope y'all enjoyed this video i hope y'all got a little bit of inspiration or something out of this video i hope y'all enjoy it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to smile bye